really didn't know what to expect going into a virtual semester, especially since I've never had um, the original typical like in-person college experience. So I was on campus though for my first semester. So um, I was grateful for that just because I really wanted to be able to get comfortable in the environment so that it'd be an easier transition when we do go back in person. I feel like I definitely did miss out on a lot just because there's not really a lot of people on campus, first of all, and like um, obviously clubs and orgs are not really happening right now or they are, but virtually. And so it's definitely a different setting than in-person events. Or through Involvement Fest, I was able to um, join like the Vietnamese Student Association. Going into college, I kind of wanted to get more in tune and like more in touch with my culture and like my heritage and the Asian community in general. Just VSA has definitely helped me with that. And it's been really rewarding in ways that I like never even expected was were possible in a virtual um, setting, but they've really made the most of it. Like I'm part of eBoard now because um, I work as an intern under them. And so it's been rewarding in the sense that like they've really, I've been able to make like so many meaningful social connections like through the virtual environment. They've been making the most out of like events and stuff online and even like reaching out to other schools. I've been able to meet people from all over like CP, Georgetown, JMU, like just through this one org. And I, um, so that's really been rewarding because I've been able to meet people even despite like everything going on. You know, simultaneously uh, with classes last semester, I was also having a congressional internship with Congressman Schroen. I had submitted my resume for a summer internship, didn't get it. And then they realized that they needed more interns because everything was online. So then they called me in um, and I was able to start with that. The big benefit, I think, I don't think I would have ever been able to have this internship if not for COVID, simply because uh, where I live, it would be so difficult to have to commute to a district office or uh, to DC, whether I lived in Frederick in my home or here at UMBC. Um, having it online means that I don't have to drive there, drive back for class, drive back or whatever. Um, been a bit weird too, just because, uh, you know, I've, I've never really been inside any of the offices besides the one time I went to the uh, DC office um, for the congressman. And uh, it's just been a strange concept having this internship now for two semesters in a row, never really going in, but still trying to do everything I can to help people. The spring semester actually wasn't so bad for us uh, in, in the production class because we had half the semester where we actually met in the studio. And so I, I felt like, you know, we, we got some of that grounded you know, basic material down. And then the second half of the semester, we were able to sort of just transition into focusing on individual projects. Um, and of course we had to adapt what was expected in those projects as far as access to equipment or the, the types of, um, you know, production work that, that, that folks could do comfortably and safely. Um, was a moving target. So um, it, it was really just a matter of, of being flexible and adapting to everybody's individual situations. You know, students have great gear, you know, at home and, um, you know, they're, um, you know, well equipped to do this. Others didn't. I mean, I had students that were, you know, driving down to the public library to use the Wi-Fi, you know, to, uh, uh, from the parking lot, you know, they would, you know, that's, that's how they, they came to class. Uh, so it, it was, you know, all over the place in that regard. So we really had to be, you know, willing to accommodate. We go back, it's, you know, it's not going to be returning to the what normal was before this. You know, it really is going to be, you know, sort of open to these hybrid um, opportunities, uh, which isn't necessarily bad. Uh, you know, but I do think that by the time I graduate, which is in May of 22, uh, I should, you know, we should be able to have at least a few months, hopefully, of uh, something resembling normal. Even if they limit capacity in places or things like that, it's going to be still a long time before everything's completely normal. But I think.
even when we're back in person, I can't say it'll be completely the same as it was before, even though I don't have that experience <laughs> from before. But definitely for me, um, I think it will be exciting, but also overwhelming again to, because it's another big transition, something that's never happened before. And like, um, I think in person though, I'll be really excited to be able to see all my friends in one place instead of like scattered all throughout Maryland. <laughs> but yeah.